Alright. Okay. So, when the rich homie Quan track type of way first came out, I was on it. I ain't, I ain't know what the what the dude was about. I only heard it on the radio, and I liked it. Uh, he came out with a track or two after that, and I liked those too. Then it came a it came a time where this dude did the skinny pants version of the electric slide across the stage. And me being the type of dude that I am, I said, okay, he already had strikes, mad strikes for this whole young thug calling him what he called them. And he wasn't stepping forth to denounce that. So he already had strikes, plural because you can't just get one strike for that. So, you know, that was bad enough. And then he turns around and does this uh, very suspicious dance move. And then I said, damn it, man. Why'd you have to do that? Now I got to cut you. So I said, all right, I can't listen to this dude no more. I can't be involved and all this foolery. I was already extending too much lead way with the young thug stuff that was transpiring. So, cool. I cut it. It's been a good two years or so. And I'd be damned if I'm hanging with some people and they put this song on and I'm not in my head, I'm liking it, I'm liking the vibe, and uh, surely you just, it comes to pass that it was a young, I mean, ah, <laughs> I almost said the wrong name, it was a rich homie Quan song, so, I listened to it, then, I even took it a step farther. I, I found the mixtape. I listened to the whole damn thing. And it is with my utmost regrettable acknowledgement. Damn it, I like it. I like that man's music, man. What the hell do you want from me? I'm just a human being. I liked it. Shit. I'm still not for the foolery. There's still some things that need to be addressed. But doggone it. That dude makes some high songs, man. It just is what it is at this point. 